Nandan. Excuse me, sir. Can I come in? Yes, please come in. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Please sit. Thank you, sir. Nandan. Yes, sir. We should call you Nandan. Yes, Nandan, sir. Nandan. Yes, sir. Okay. You are from Andhra Pradesh, yes, East sir. Godavari. Yes, sir. District. So tell me about that Godavari district, East Godavari district, something. Sir, after a barrage called Davaleshram, uh, there is a river called Vasista. East of that uh, river Vasista is called East Godavari. Okay. And west of that river is called West Godavari. Coming to this district, East Godavari, we are uh, prone to mostly of agriculture crops and fishery. So what kind of crop you grow? Sir, yeah. rice. Generally, we grow rice two times a year. Two times a year, rice? Yes, yes, sir. Two times a year. Okay. So for rice, mainly you require water. Yes, sir. Mostly, na? That water you are getting from this? The Vlashram Barrage, sir. Ample amount of water is available there. So there is no scarcity of water. All right. You have done your engineering. 2028, right? 2021, sorry. 21, yes, sir. Okay. And you are currently working MES. Yes, sir. Through ES? Yes, huh? yes, yes, sir. Which year? 2023 or 24? 23, sir. 23. All right. What is your subject of interest in civil engineering? So currently, I like uh, strength of materials in geotechnical engineering. Strength of material in geotech engineering. All right. What is shear center? Sir, shear center is a point. If the load passes through that point, there will be no torsional stress will be developed. Okay, okay. How you find shear center? What is the process for that? Sir, we will use the shear flow diagram. It means like a uh, shear flow diagram and we will have a formula for each and every section, sir. So, for channel section, shear center is outside the cross section. Yes, sir. Right? So, if the, if the shear center is outside the cross section, how we can apply load from that point? Sir, actually we will, uh, uh, we will provide a bracket to the channel section so that we can apply that load at that shear point, sir. Alright. What is casting Liano's theorem? Sir, uh, the first theorem, it says that uh, partial derivative of strain energy with respect to the uh, deflection gives the load. Whereas second mm. theorem says the partial derivative of strain energy with respect to load gives the deflection at that point. All right. Now let's say I need to design a member, right, yes, which has to be used for power transmission. Okay, sir. So over that you need to apply some twisting moment, right? So what kind of cross section we should prefer? Sir, if the member is subjected to torsion, better hollow section, hollow sections are better, sir. Hollow section. Why hollow section? Sir, uh, like uh, it has more po polar uh, moment of inertia and moreover, there is no, like if you use circular section, there will be no concentration of stresses will be available, sir. Means like uniform stresses will be present over the section. All right. What is beam of uniform strength? Sir, beam of uniform strength uh, <coughs> indicates that the entire beam throughout the length of the beam, the maximum stress developed uh, in the beam length is constant, sir, due to bending movement. Okay. So, on what factor it depends? Sir, it depends upon the variation with the width and uh, change in the dimension of the width and change in dimension of the depth. And what is the need to make this kind of beam? Sir, uh, if you make that beam, so first thing, uh, material is economical, sir. So we will cut down the material, so it will be economical. And moreover, the stresses are constant, no, sir. No change in the stresses. All right, all right. What is fatigue? Sir, fatigue is a failure in the material, uh, due to which there is an, uh, because of application of trans, uh, alternative application of forces, means tension, compression opposite direction forces if you apply it, then the material will fail easily. So in case of fatigue, fatigue kind of loading, the body fail before the yield point. Yes, sir. Why so? Sir, so, uh, uh, because once the, it get yield into the tension point, when, when it suddenly changes to the compression, it can't uh, uh, take load up to the yield point, sir. Means like, mm. Okay. My last question. Yes, what is Mueller's Brassel principle? 
सर मुलर ब्रोसला प्रिंसिपल इज लाइक इट इज यूज टू ड्रा दि इंफ्लूंस लाइन डयाग्राम फर् दि वेरिय स्ट्रेस फंक्षन लाइक रियाक्षन बेंग फोर्स बेंग मूमेंट अंड शेर फोर्स इट इज द इंफ्लूंस लाइन डयाग्राम ड्रॉन बै रिमूविंग द रिस्टेंट अंड प्रोवैडिंग यूनिट डिस्प्लेसमेंट इन दि डैरे आफ दि स्ट्रेस फंक्षन सर टेक दैट नोट पैड Keep it over your lap. Okay. Let's say you have a beam ABC. ABC is a beam, right? Point A is let's say hinge support. Yes, B is roller. C is again roller, right? Yes, Now between B and C you have an internal hinge. Point B and C you have internal hinge. Yes, sir. Now between A and B I have one more point that is point D, right? Can you draw the ILD for bending moment at D? So what is point A here? Point A is fixed support or hinge support? Yeah, hinge support, sir. Hinge support. Hinge support, na? So this beam is determinate or indeterminate? Sir, it's sir, by it is coming like determinate state. Determinate, na? And ah. for determinate ILD, ah, what yes, is sir. the shape of ILD? Yes, sir. It should be linear, na? Yes, sir. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Sir. Yes, sir. Nandan, yes, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Okay, so you are from East Godavari district, right? Yes, sir. So which river is called as Dakshin Ganga? So Godavari. Why? Uh, not sure about you. Not sure? Not sure, sir. Okay. And which river is called as Ganga of South? No, oh, sir. No idea about that. Okay. Uh, these days, do we get petrol? That is hundred percent petrol, or it is blended with something? Sir, blended with ethanol. How much? Sir, generally twenty percent uh, blended with ethanol. Why do we blend ethanol with petrol? So first, cost reduction can be happen, and ethanol is in byproduct that can be made with the sugar cane waste. Okay. Mm, so that we can get cost effect to petrol. Cost effective. Oh, yes, sir. Right. Does it have any effect on the uh, vehicle engine also, sir? I'm I'm not sure about that one. Sir. What is the effect on uh, environment of this blended petrol, sir? Since we are making from the waste, it is good for environment. Since no, how it is good for environment, sir? We are uh, recycling the uh, waste of the one product, and mm -hmm. we are reducing the usage of raw material. Okay. Your mother is working as assistant development officer in handloom and textile department. Yes, sir. Any government program regarding handloom and textile that you think is uh, very good, sir? Can I say state government? Any central or state? Sir, Nathan Nastam is one of the schemes, sir, which uh, state government provides uh, a decent amount of twenty-four thousand for the uh, a weaver. Financial year, so that he can make an arrangement of making the buying the initial product, so that he can have to make the product. Any central government program such as PLI scheme? Sir, I, I heard that uh, some earth so something like I'm not sure about the central government program, sir. Okay, Bunkar Yojana ki naam se kuch na? No sir, no sir. Nothing like that. No. Okay. So <clears throat> next is. That uh, your father is a farmer, I think. No, sir. He is not a farmer. No. Okay, sorry. Now my next question will be that uh, what do you understand about this Article three seventy? Sir, it was about Jammu Kashmir, I know, but in detail that I am not sure about that. Nothing. Okay. Okay. Do you know anything about this uh, uh, tariff war that was going on recently? Sir, I heard that US is uh, increasing its tariffs on the various other products, other country products. That's what I heard. But because of that, stock market is also uneven. Okay, you have no idea about that. No idea. You sir. trade in stock market? No, sir. I heard from my friends. Okay. Okay. Sir. okay. Yes, sir. <coughs> Nandan. Yes, sir. So, uh, what is the slenderness ratio? Of the RC column, when it is considered as the short column, so it should be less than twelve. Should be less than twelve. Yes, Then sir. what's the definition of this? Sir, it is the effective length to the uh, least lateral dimension. 
least lateral why least lateral dimension sir if we consider the least uh, lateral dimension then the slenderness ratio will be high generally okay. my question is why you considering least lateral dimension why not greater on what basis you selected this uh, least lateral dimension sir if we see, if we design for the least criteria then it will be safe for the uh, bigger dimension no, sir means based on the least dimension only like uh, if we use higher dimension then obviously slenderness ratio will be less than 12 if if it is satisfied for the higher dimension then it's okay that's what uh, that's okay lambda is less so it take higher load even that good sir but it will be taking higher load in the longer dimension but in shorter directions it will be fail no, sir okay okay so uh, what is the effective length sir effective length uh, like we based on the support conditions we will consider the effective length sir based on support okay consider the short column having the length l and ends are fixed sir. both ends are fixed yes sir what is the effective length so practically we will take 0.65 l 0.65 l so that column will buckle 0.65 l the length of buckled column is this right yes sir but sir you said short column right right right, sir, right, right. short short column will fail by crushing no, sir generally so what is the effective length of this sir, entire column will be taken as hmm. so it's not 6.65 yes, okay why minimum spacing kept between the bar sir main bar or stirrup bar any bar that's our minimum spacings are kept yes sir and we have provisions also yes sir. why sir, sir uh, minimum spacing is kept because if we kept at very less spacing then the compaction of the concrete will be very difficult and if we keep higher spacing uh, then there is a chance of crack width will be formed so we kept to the optimum scale, like minimum spacing of 300 mm required minimum spacing 300 mm no sir width that is uh, what's the minimum spacing of the longitudinal bar yes sir Current time now, I'm confused with that. Uh, uh, sir, I'm, I'm not sure I need to look up on it, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So, what is the side face reinforcement? Sir, so generally, if the depth of the web is greater than 750 mm, generally we will provide the reinforcement in the middle of the web also, in order to resist the buckling of the web. This is called side face reinforcement, sir. So, when the dimension is greater than 750 in that case only will provide the so side face based on the whether the torsion is applied or not also will consider torsion so give me a, any example of the rc beam yes, sir. where the torsion occur in the frame structure generally in torsion in the frame structure i think there will be no torsion sir Sir, I am not sure about that. There are lots of the examples are there. Mm. Secondary beam induced stores in the primary uh, beam. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, what is the role of reinforcement to resist the shear? And which reinforcement will not uh, take part resist shear? Sir, generally shear reinforcement is take to resist the shear. Uh, Compression steel will, I think, is not uh, used to resist the shear, sir. Because, Why? sir. Why? Sir, it is only to resist the excess compressive force. Whereas, uh, but uh, <coughs> in, to resist the shear, like it depends upon the grade of the concrete and percentage of longitudinal reinforcement. Okay, sir. Okay, Nandan. Yes, sir. Name any turbine. <coughs> so Francis Kepler. Francis. Which type of turbine it is? So Francis is a radially flown turbine. And Kepler? Sir, axially flown turbine. Axially flow turbine. Uh, what type of blades we have in the Kepler turbines? Runner blades. Sir, uh, wearable means like not fixed, wearables uh, wear automatically adjusted blades sir okay <coughs>
so theta and phi value will remain same sir generally if we go from boss to the outer the theta and phi value changes why sir generally the radius of the, the radius is changing from the center so based on that uh, velocity of the means velocity of u u changes na sir in reaction turbines yes sir we have a casing yes, so sir. tell me about the shape of that casing outside casing what is the shape of that sir can i draw means like uh, yes you can draw sir i am not sure about that sir it's is it a uniform or uh, something different sir it's means like rectangular or square type uh, casing i'm talking i'm talking is it is it uniform or spiral casing okay sir casing okay sir spiral casing why we have a spiral casing sir generally sir uh, in spiral casing when the uh, discharge flows through the various runner blades it reduces its area so that uh, to maintain the constant flow all over the tur turbine oh, very good very good francis turbine yes, in this turbine at the exit yes, the discharge will be discharge what type of uh, you can say discharge at the exit we have in the francis turbine sir generally radially out, out generally 90 degrees to the 90 degree uh, that means which angle you are going to take 90 degree sir it will take a gu guide vane angle guide vane angle okay you have taken the name of guide vane what is the function of guide vanes in the reaction turbines sir uh, guide vanes are used to project the water uh, to the runner vanes tangentially any other function is there sir uh, governing of the turbine ah, you have taken the name of governing tell me about the governing why what is the need of that sir governing used to generally governing of the turbines used to maintain the constant uh, discharge to, uh, to make the constant discharge flow through the turbine sir generally constant discharge yes sir in the govern via governing yes, when you are doing governing that means you are maintaining discharge constant then how can you do it sir generally like sir like uh, governing means like uh, through flow my first question is yes, what is the need of governing sir to maintain constant speed to maintain constant speed, speed okay so that we can uh, for the designing it will be easy sir and it will be easy uh, yes sir and sir if the load cuts to zero this pier load means like a okay if loads cuts to zero yes, okay hmm. what is the run away speed of the turbine S sir when the turbine is working under maximum head and if also governing not working then the turbine rotates at the maximum speed uh, this is called run away speed sir. run away what is the run away speed for kaplan turbine sir 2.5 to 3 times of uh, it's a normal speed hmm. okay what is the streamline body sir streamline body shows that only there is in frictional screen frictional drag no there the pressure drag will be very less compared to the uh, skin frictional drag sir okay and moreover the body is aligned in the uh, parallel to the streamlines my last question yes, define magnus effect sir in a sir uh, when the when the cylindrical body is uh, rotating in the moving fluid the automatical lift force is generated this is called the magnus effect okay. thank you sir okay.